The reason why there's the mess on the floor is I had that tube pulled up out of the transmission. And of course the, the mess of oil that came out of the transmission has somewhat missed the drain pail. So we'll have to clean that up or we're gonna be crawling in oil all day. All right, so the process in removing this dipstick tube involved taking this inner fender off because there's a loom holder right up in here on this back left-hand side of the engine. It's right there. I could not get to it here uh, last night. So I felt that the best thing to do is just take that inner fender off and we're kind of killing two birds with one stone. This inner fender is all cracked. Down at the bottom on this inside, and this is the right side of the fender, and rather than buy a new one, what we're going to do is we're going to try using some of this 3M panel bonding um, adhesive. Uh, we've been using this for a little while, and we've had great success with it. Um, you can you don't have to use the whole tube I've got a partial tube there here's another one uh, they just give you these little caps to put down in there that seals the tube off so what we'll do is we'll sand this down a little bit on this on the inside put a little duct tape across the back just to kind of hold it in place and then we'll spooge a bunch of that panel bonding material on there and we'll see if it holds I mean I could buy a brand new one but um, We'll try it out. We'll see if that stuff works. Let's get this set up and then we'll show you what that looks like once the stuff is all on there. Okay, we used uh all of what this tube had, it was only about that much. So it was nice to be able to not have to open up another tube. Number is 08115 uh, 3M panel body adhesive. So we'll let that dry. It's supposed to take like up to 24 hours to cure completely, but um, I would think in a few short hours that stuff would be uh, pretty good and uh, dry. At least fold it and then um, maybe we'll end up putting some on the back side as well. We'll see how strong it is. So we're going to work on getting that tube out now. All right, we've just kind of got the tube setting, the dipstick tube setting in there. I ended up pushing the pump up on the PTO. We've got all kinds of clearance. There's a main wire harness that goes down to the transmission that lays over the top that is in between the pump and the transmission. We've got this one bracket here to mount down, um, we could just push them loom holders over the other way, and that's gonna be secured and in place. This dipstick tube is just swung around the back, and it's almost like that's purposely made that way to work uh, right the way we have it. So we're gonna go ahead and, and mount that that way. We have to build a bracket off the back hand, off the back side of this transmission to kind of hold that PTO up. And uh, that bracket will incorporate uh, some tabs on there to hold that dipstick tube. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that just like that and we're gonna run with it. The other option was is I could bend it a little bit more uh, right here so as to get it to fit down in tighter on top of the transmission in between the pump there and the transmission. Um, but however, if it does chafe a spot through that dipstick tube, we're never gonna know it and dirt's gonna be getting down in there and it's just gonna make a mess. And then when it comes time to having to replace this tube, we're gonna have to pull the pump off 
and everything else. And the other thing we could do is straighten this tube and um, cut it off and have it mounted to where the top is like right here and just check the oil from here. That is another option as well. Um, just cut the dipstick down itself and uh, run with it. But I think that is gonna be fine uh, right over there. We do run about a four to a five inch gap between the cabs so you'll be able to reach in over there and uh, Get, be able to get to the dipstick easier than you would underneath the hood. So we're gonna uh, get some bolts in that pump and build a bracket for the support on the back side of it there. Well, this is what usually happens when we get working on a job like that one there. We have uh, other jobs that are priorities over the little projects we have going on. Remember back about six or seven months ago, I said we were gonna replace this JRB coupler. Well, I didn't do that and it's broke again. This time it broke where it broke here a few years ago. And we're just gonna put a one inch bar stock back on there, stack it on top of the one that's there and weld it back down and we will have to order one of these couplers here because it's not going to last much longer. So uh, it was about six months or so ago we ended up welding uh, this side over here. So I've got this half ass cleaned up with a grinder. Got another piece of bar stock here and we're just going to tack weld it on in a couple of spots, heat it up, bend it around that radius there and uh, send this guy out the door.
Well, we've got the PTO completely fastened down and we've got the pump bolted to the back of it. And right now I'm in the middle of getting this bracket. It's on the back side here, made up and well, I've got it all made. I've just got a weld, a piece between the uh, piece that I have bolted to the back of the transmission and that extension bracket that comes off of the back of the pump. Now I've spent a few hours here making up some brackets for the other two trucks that I have to do too. This is the bracket here that goes on the transmission. And then these brackets here are the ones that will bolt on to uh, the bottom of the pump and then we'll weld a piece in between the two of them. Now the reason for doing that is, is just to take the stress off of that PTO. That pump is pretty heavy and it's a lot of weight hanging off of the back side of that PTO. I've got my uh, transmission dipstick tube relocated. Uh, it did go underneath that pump and then it went up through to the front side there if you recall and it was kind of hidden in behind some uh, hidden behind a cluster of air hoses. So I made up a bracket uh, right here to hold the bottom side of the tube and then I've got a piece of quarter inch by two flat bar running up the side and we've got it right in behind the cab. Uh, easy access, a lot easier access than running it behind or up in behind the engine there. That just sets down into the side of the transmission right there and then there's a, a bracket that holds it down into the sealed uh, grommet there. So I ended up running a bead of that 3M panel bonding stuff on the back side. Yeah, well, the front, I guess it would be the front side of the fender as well. And we'll have to let this cure for 24 hours or so. Then we'll be able to get the fender back on uh, the truck. So what I need to do here now is get that bracket welded. Then we can hook our hoses up to the pump. Um, just the orientation of this pump, the suction's on the left and uh, pressure, uh, the pressure is on the right. Um, we got the suction tank on the right hand side of the truck or the reservoir tank is on the right hand side of the truck and our valve body's on the left. So we have to crisscross the hoses and down underneath this cross member here, but we'll be able to tie them all up uh, neatly here and uh, the, the one last thing I have to do with the um, cab stuff is I have to run air controls to uh, the valve body on the other side and then we have yet to hook up the hoses to the hoist and to the winch and the tailgate so let's go ahead and get this bracket welded down here I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do all the welding in there or not I might have to take them freaking brackets off because I can't get my head down in there that well with a welding helmet on to see good enough to do a good job. So we'll set you guys up and we'll see how well we can weld that bracket together. All right, so I ended up taking the bracket off just so that I could weld it a little better. I could not see underneath, um, no, like the dipstick tube, this one side closer to the hoist there I welded kind of blindfolded and I had to touch it up so it doesn't look all that great but the other side looks decent so what we're going to do now is dump it in a pail of water let it cool down and as long as I have it off I might as well throw some paint on it Well, folks, that is going to about do it for this video. I'm going to call it a night. I ended up taking that bracket off and I welded it with it sitting on the truck frame on the other side. This is what the dipstick tube for the transmission looks like over here on the driver's side of the truck. We usually leave about a five inch gap between the box and the cab, so that is going to be just fine. It's not going to be in the way at all. It's going to be actually a lot handier there 
than where it was up underneath the hood here and behind these hoses that was setting back in here like that and that'd be a real mongrel to uh, get oil into when it comes time to do a service on this transmission. So tomorrow we'll end up getting the bracket back on there and we'll hook our hoses up. We've got the suction hose coming off of the tank and then the pressure hose going over to the valve body. We'll get this fender on there too. I ended up putting this panel, this 3M panel bonding material on both sides of the fender. We'll see how that lasts. It seems pretty good and rigid now. Uh, that needs to set for 24 hours until it gets... Uh, nice and hard and um, it looks like it's gonna work it probably would have been a little better to have formed uh, something to this but we'll see how it works just using it just like that so that's what we're gonna do in the morning we'll get the fender on get that bracket on there finish the plumbing on the hoist and we also have to bring the air controls down in from the cab going over to that valve body I would say maybe a half a day left on this truck and then we could start building the angle iron sills and um, get that uh, mounted on here as well so that is going to do it for this video folks i want to thank you for watching and we will catch you at the next video